Well, hey, y'all. It's Danny again. Uh, today, I'm going to give you a presentation about the job interview, a very important step, in fact, along the path toward a great job. So listen very closely to the presentation. There's going to be a section about the uh, common interview questions that you can run into in job interviews. And what I need each of you to do uh, is at least think about, if not, go ahead and write down, if you, if you please, some, an answer to those questions that you'll see. There aren't many of them, but when we get to that point in the presentation, I will point it out. So maybe have a, a pen or pencil and something to write on. And I'm gonna go ahead now and get started. So we're still on our path to a great job. That'll be our theme for the week. And today specifically, we're talking about the job interview. What's the big deal about job interviews, you may ask yourself. Why spend so much time during project search practicing job interview skills? There are a few key answers to that question. Let's have a look. The job interview is often your first face-to-face -face contact with an employer. You need to make a good first impression. Demonstrating that you are serious about contributing to the employer's business during a job interview can set you apart from other applicants in a positive way. A strong performance during a job interview can be the difference between getting a job offer and being passed over in favor of another applicant. So there you go, there are three really good reasons why we need to be concerned about uh, the job interview. Okay, so how do you get a job interview in the first place? So before we discuss preparing for a job interview, let's back up for a moment and think about how you get an appointment for a job interview with an employer. All right. So the first step was to learn as much as you can about your strengths and interests. Throughout your time in Project Search, you will have opportunities to explore tasks you are interested in and determine what your strengths are. So you're all already, you are all already in the process of doing that. Two, create a resume. You will work with your job coaches and instructor to create a resume that represents your experience and has a professional layout and overall look. You will submit your resume each time you apply for a job. Three, conduct a thorough job search. Use the internet, newspaper classified ads, in-person job applications, and job fairs during your search. Make sure the jobs you apply for match your strengths and interests. Your job coach will help you during your search. So, let's get prepared. You will practice answering job interview questions frequently during Project Search Classroom sessions. You will practice with the instructor, your job coach, other interns, and then sometimes HR professionals who volunteer their time. These would be people who give uh, actual real life job interviews frequently. And so they'll be really good at evaluating your performance and giving you good feedback on what to work on. Interview practice will focus on the most important aspects of the interview process, which include appropriate answers, appropriate answers to those interview questions, your posture, eye contact, questions for the interviewer, that's the questions that you ask the person who's interviewing you, greeting and farewell, and general professionalism. Those are the major things that we need to keep in mind as we prepare ourselves for job interviews. Practice answering some common interview questions. Make sure your answers relate directly to the questions you are asked. Your answer should be appropriate for the situation. 
So not only do your answers need to uh, make sense and, and, and actually answer the question, but they should be appropriate and, and delivered in a professional way, which will be part of our practice, of course. So how would you answer the following questions? Tell me a little about yourself. So this is the part where I need you guys to think about, it's a good idea, I think, to go ahead and write down answers to these. So this is the first one. Tell me about yourself. Why do you want to work here? That's the second one. Remember, you can go back or you can pause this uh, video if you want to write down your answers. I think that's a good idea. Third one is, what are your strengths? Okay. And what are your weaknesses? That may be the toughest one, but just give it your best. Again, I encourage you to write down your answer. Um, at the very least, think about it and be prepared because I will be asking you guys the next time we get together for some answers on these. Okay. When you're being interviewed, pay attention to your nonverbal communication. Even when you do a good job answering questions, but your body language can send the wrong message to an employer. There are two very important things to keep in mind during an interview to make sure you are sending the right nonverbal message. Have good posture and good eye contact. Sit up straight throughout the interview to show that you are interested and in taking the situation seriously. Don't slouch, don't lean over to one side. Try to stay as straight up and down as you can. Maintain eye contact to demonstrate that you respect the interviewer and you are friendly and trustworthy. This is very important too. That communicates a lot about, that's going to give the interviewer an impression of kind of what you're like, what your personality is like. Toward the end of most job interviews, the interviewer will ask the applicant if they have any questions for the interviewer. Always be prepared by having at least one question in mind before you go to the interview. It's a good idea to learn as much as you can about the business you have applied to so that you not only can come up with some solid questions for the interviewer, but also so you can show the interviewer that you really care about the business. All right, so here's some examples. What do you value the most in your employees? What would you say is the most challenging part of the job? How do you measure success in your employees? So we will spend um, a good amount of time actually, and on an individual basis as well, helping you come up with uh, questions for an interviewer. This can be one of the toughest, most challenging aspects of the job interview for anyone really. Uh, so, and there are many other types of questions you can ask. These are just some examples. All right. In addition to the strategies we've already covered, there are some simple things you can do to convince the interviewer that you are a good choice for their business. Be well-groomed and dress appropriately. We'll spend a lot of time later talking about uh, the types of clothes that are appropriate and also uh, some, some strong ideas about uh, this, your standards of grooming for uh, an interview. Greet the interview and interviewer. Greet the interviewer and introduce yourself. A nice hello. My name is fill in the blank. Simple stuff. Be polite at all times. Remember that you've been invited to this business. They are giving you their time. So in a real sense, they're they're doing a nice thing for you. So make sure that you have some grace and treat them, uh, treat the interviewer respectfully and politely. When the interviewer 
excuse me, when the interview ends, say thank you. And don't forget to say goodbye or have a nice day. Simplest thing, again, uh, but it makes a big difference if you can make sure you say thank you. Say, you can say simply thank you or thank you for your time. Try to remember to say something like, have a nice day. Those will be very helpful for you. So when you add each of these simple things together, you get professionalism, professionalism, yes. So that's the aim here uh, with really with everything, but especially these last items, they're gonna really, can really put you over the top provided that you have really prepared, um, you've practiced answering questions, you have questions for the interviewer, you've learned some things about the business uh, and you are, um, otherwise ready to go, then being um, looking the part, so to speak, dressing appropriately, uh, doing your greetings, being polite, the thank yous, uh, and those things are really can really put you over the top. Okay, so in conclusion, be ready to practice. As I said, I will expect everyone to be able to answer some questions when we get together to talk about this. I'm looking forward to hearing your answers to the questions. And I'm looking forward to supporting each of you eventually, sometime down the line, uh, and getting you all ready for your job interviews when those come along. It'll be very exciting. And uh, I'll be very happy for all of you when that happens. Uh, so, see you soon. Goodbye.